Oh, howdy y'all, grab yourself a drink, it is time for some Path of Exile discussion. Today I wanted to talk about these Contains Chaos Items nodes that you'll find in Delve. They are far better than people are giving them credit for, and this is not due to the jackpot that most people recognise as a jackpot, and that is when you get a random helmet that has 10% of physical damage from hits taken as Chaos Damage as a Fractured mod on it, but instead due to getting that mod non-fractured on Hubris Circlets, which is a more common outcome and is very, very, very valuable. So the reason people want that mod is that it is one of the best defensive layers available to Chaos Inoculation characters, and it's also very good in conjunction with the Fourth Vow, or Divine Flesh, or anything else that pushes your Chaos Damage Mitigation into the Stratosphere. You'll see here that I'm using a fairly basic version of this mod on a helmet. This is not a finished helmet, this is just something that's a starting piece that's good enough to use, and you can get far better than this, but basically I think it demonstrates the core idea here. We've got 10% of physical damage from hits taken as Chaos Damage as a Fractured mod, we've got 10% Mana Reservation Efficiency of Skills as a Standard mod, and then we've got a bunch of other rubbish on there except for Benchcrafted Life. So that's a starting point and a usable helmet, and this is something that would be a couple of Divines, mostly for the value of the base. However, people who are running Chaos Inoculation characters find that by far the best thing they can use on their character is a Hubris Circlet with this mod. If you have a Hubris Circlet that has this 10% of physical damage from hits taken as Chaos Damage as a Fractured Explicit mod, and then also has 8% of physical damage from hits taken as Chaos Damage as an Eater of Worlds aligned, exquisite or perfect tier Eldritch Implicit, then at that point your helmet can give you 360 or more energy shield, while also giving you 18% reduced physical damage from hits taken, because as a Chaos Inoculation character you'll be completely immune. And then this will stack additively, i.e. the best possible way, with this Armour and Energy Shield Mastery, which is 10% of physical damage from hits taken as Chaos Damage as well. So that's 28%, and you can get more of this stat in other places, mostly on your shield. So it's an incredibly strong defensive layer, and the people who are playing Chaos Inoculation characters often have a lot of wealth to throw at making their character powerful. That's why these particular nodes are so good. Whilst getting the Fractured version of this mod is very rare, Getting a Hubris Circlet with this mod is not so rare. About 1 in 50 helmets that drops game-wide is a Hubris Circlet, and I believe this to be the same for helmets that drop from these Contains Chaos Items nodes. Now at the time I'm recording this video, the cheapest Fractured Hubris Circlet with this specific mod is about 150 Divine Orbs, and the cheapest non-Fractured version of this on a Hubris Circlet is 17 Divine Orbs, not counting ones that are very low item level. So that's something to look out for if you're choosing to delve this league. I think that it's one of the most common, deterministically farmable, genuinely valuable items in the game. Although when I say most common here, don't confuse that with being common. You can still easily go 25 of these contains Chaos Items nodes without finding a Hubris Circlet in them, but if you do find one, it's going to make it really worth your while all the time you've spent delving. Especially because the deeper you get, the more common these contains X item nodes start to become, at least up to about 500 depth. After that, they seem to be fairly constant. And one last thing that needs to be said about these is that they cannot spawn with an item level exceeding 83. Even if you have the Delve mod that causes items that drop from monsters in the zone to be 1, 2, or 3 item levels higher, that will not apply to items that drop from chests, and as a result, you'll never find these high enough in item level to have tier 1 energy shield percent on them, except if you're playing in Standard League where Accombinators exist. Anyways, that's all I've got on these. May your fracturing orbs have interesting results, and I will see you around.